Well, hundreds of people turned out in all blue at the game last night. Kaylee's favorite color to honor her memory. This tribute almost didn't happen because her accused killer used to play football here and his brother still does. <laughs> Cheering to her special song. Beautiful. Under the Friday night lights. Bradford cheerleaders honored 15 year old Kaylee Juga more than four months after she was shot and killed in her Kenosha home. It's very emotional. We miss her so much, like beyond belief, but I'm so happy we got to do it. Kaylee's mother shot as well survived. Kaylee's ex boyfriend and former Bradford football player Martise Fuller is charged. A Facebook page set up in his name shows Fuller in his Bradford jersey alongside hashtag freedom for Tease. Fuller's brother also a football player on the field Friday night. Originally, the district decided not to allow the tribute in an attempt to remain neutral for both families involved. They reversed the decision. He's kind of, um, you know, he's in a hard spot. He plays with one of the players who the other controversy was about. So it's, you know, it's, it's hard for him. It's hard for all of them, I think. But most in the stands Friday, including opposing team Oak Creek, wore all blue in Kaylee's support. It hasn't been easy, that's for sure. It's been really, really bad, actually. It's been just really hard. The cheerleaders, not the only ones honoring her memory. Hundreds of motorcycles, a candlelight vigil, a fundraiser, and a moment of silence in a sea of blue standing for Kaylee. Now a district spokesperson told me that they did have extra security at last night's game and police here because there was some tension between both families, although nothing did happen. Reporting in Kenosha at Bradford High School in Caroline Reinwald at the WYSN 12 News.